Hello, this is Jay Roach82 coming at you from Hammond, Indiana. And soon I'm going to be doing videos in Louisiana, my home state. Uh, I'm going to be down there for three days, so expect to see some um, some reviews in Louisiana because that's what I'm going to be at and stuff, in, like I said, for three days. Uh, excuse me. And today I'm going to do an, another movie review, like I always do and stuff, because um, I know you people like the reviews and stuff that I do and stuff, so I'm going to give it a whirl again. Today I'm going to do a review about a movie that um, actually um, never scared me for some reason. I mean, it was really gore. It, they had some gore scenes in it, but it was kind of entertaining more than gory, you know, and it kind of had a really, it, it was kind of like a children's horror movie and stuff, so, you know, it's, it's still a good movie and stuff, and that movie's on Netflix, too, right now, it's called Dolls, yeah, and it's an Italian-American production, or Italian-Canadian production, I don't know which one, but I think it was Canadian, uh, in Italian, because I think they filmed it in Italy, but it's a Canadian director, so I don't remember, but anyway, Dolls is about, um, Dolls is one of those movies that's kind of like a rip-off of Puppet Master. Um, it came out, I believe, around the time Puppet Master did. But it's a really good rip-off of Puppet Master. Because it's not puppets, it's dolls. Like, um, porcelain dolls, you know, like the dolls that uh, you see at collector shops. And some of these dolls ain't that bad looking, you know. Some of them are good looking, you know, dolls, you know, um pretty nice stuff, you know, uh, they got teddy bears and stuff, but anyway, on to the, on, on to the review. Anyway, uh, this family, um, which, I wouldn't say it's a functional family, I would say it's a, it's a dysfunctional family, um, takes refuge at a local house where there's a doll maker who, uh, owns the house, him and his wife, um, never had children, so instead of having children, they make dolls and stuff. And the mother, the uh, the wife and the dad, I ain't going to say mother because it's not the child's mother. It's actually his, I mean, it's actually her, it's actually the little girl's um, stepmother. Uh, the little girl's stepmother and the father decided to take refuge in this house to, at, for the nighttime because it's pretty dark and it's raining and stuff. So you take refuge there. And then another guy comes in with two punk rock chicks, you know, pretty much heavy metal babes and stuff. And they're really, really hot. But they have really bad intentions. And they get what's coming to them for their intentions. Well, anyway, um, things start happening at the house. Um, the father starts, um, like, doing things that's pretty bad. And the girls start trying to steal stuff out of the house when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the dolls come to life and start killing people. Now, I'm not going to give up no spoiler alerts, but I'll tell you this much. Um, the people who deserve it, the people who you would say that should be killed in this movie do get killed in this movie. And the people that you say, no, no, let them live, they, they survive in this movie. I, but I don't want to give out no spoiler alerts, but I already did, so forget that. But it's a pretty good movie. You should check it out on Netflix. Um, you can also look for it on Amazon.com. Just type in the keyword dolls and uh, videos and stuff, and you should find it with no problem. Um, I saw it when it first came out on VHS, and I thought to myself, wow, this is a pretty amazing movie. I kind of like it and stuff. Because I like watching, like, objects kill. It's so cool, you know, like, watching, like, Chucky kill, you know, puppets kill, dolls kill, teddy bears kill. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome, you know, because everyone always roots for the action figure to kill. So, and it also gives you, it also teaches you a lesson. Don't go around messing with your toys, otherwise your toys might come to life and kill you for messing with them. So be careful about that. Little kids. You know what I'm talking about. Always oh, trying to take off the head of your G.I. Joe doll. Shame on you. But anyway, uh, Dolls is a pretty unique film. It, it, it might be a ripoff of Puppet Master, but it's worth checking into. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's the best movie out there, but it's a pretty damn good one, and it, it's up to par and stuff, you know, and the music is pretty awesome, uh, there's a lot of cool, uh, film music in it, that's pretty awesome and stuff, I don't know who the composer is of the music, but they have some pretty good music and stuff, and it's, it's pretty tolerable and stuff, unlike these modern movies where the music sounds like it's gonna give you a headache, like Fast and Furious, like that dubstep stuff, 
you know, but this ain't dubstep, it's just plain film composition music. Well, this is Jay Roach A2 signing out. Remember, if you see a flying spaghetti monster, stick a fork in it, eat it, it's good. Peace.